Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to see you off our YouTube channel and you are here after the Carlisle United with a massive well-deserved victory at home on New Year's Day against Port Vale. Carlisle United 2, Port Vale 1 in front of 7,758 people. A fantastic performance from Carlisle, much, much improvement from the last sort of three, four, five games. Um, really, really good. I thought every single player on the pitch was fantastic. I thought I'd give a few a mention though, uh, but I thought all 11 were fantastic. Uh, Josh Emmanuel, that was probably his best game in the Carlisle shirt in my opinion. Um, he's crossing maybe a bit, uh, not the best, um, but I thought he got up and down the pitch really, really well today. Showed a bit more about him, especially especially an improvement on Wigan though. Um, I thought Sean Maguire had a very good game. I've seen a bit on Twitter. A lot of people saying that he hasn't, but um, I thought he had a pretty decent game. One of his best games in the car show as well. He was really getting himself about. Um, he made some good runs, had a couple of opportunities as well. Um, Owen Moxon thought that was his best game this season. Um, I know he's been in and out with injury. Uh, I thought he looked back to his best as well at some point in the game. Uh, Gay Breeze looks really um, relaxed in the net. You know, he, you can tell he's a young lad, and um, the way that he just comes out and moves about. Um, you know, definitely, definitely a young lad um, with great potential. I thought he had a, a fantastic game again. Um, Jack Robinson, I thought was absolutely excellent. Um, his deliveries of corners and set pieces, um, a much improvement on uh, what Moxon was doing. Um, uh, Jack Robinson's really grown into a player. Um, at Carlisle United, uh, Joe Garner, as much as he is annoying and gets, you know, he jumps to the ground every every single five seconds. Um, I thought he had a very good game as well. Missed a couple of opportunities he maybe would have liked him to score. And finally, uh, Sam Lavelle had a very good game as well. So did everyone else. To be fair, I just wanted to highlight them. Uh, but starting with the first half, then it was a real game of two halves. Really, it was it was a really weird game because at one 0 down, if we had lost, we would have deserved to have lost the game. But a two one up. We deserve to win the game. Um, but that first half, this is all the chances we had in the first half. Gibson took a free kick and uh, Connor Ripley um, knocked it over. Owen Moxon had a decent effort. There was a great bit of work from Taylor Charles to keep the ball into play. And Sean Maguire had some really good, a really good bit of footwork. Um, a great one from him. Unfortunately, just couldn't find the finish to lift it over um, Connor Ripley. Um, Joe Garner had a, a, um, a good bit of footwork that laid off uh, Jack Robinson who blazed the shot over the bar. Sam Lavella had a good header which was saved by their goalkeeper. Uh, Gibson had an effort and Taylor Charters had an effort that just snuck wide. All of that was in the first half and then you were just hoping that we could um, start the second half as good as we finished the first half. Um, I would say I'd like to think that uh, Luke Armstrong is going to come in next week and finish these chances. Uh, chances the um sort of Garner and Maguire missed this week. Uh but we'll see, won't we? But then in the in, in the start of the second half they scored a goal um very early on. Their number twelve up front um caused an absolute mayhem. He he looked a real handful, uh, looked like a really good player. Um but yeah they went one 0 up and sort of a cutback and then a finish. Uh it looked like Gabriel's got um, something to it, but not enough to keep it out. And that was 1-0. And then they, as you expect in League One, sort of just sat back and invited the pressure um, on. And we weren't really creating too much, really, to break them down. Jordan Gibson with a great cross with Sean Maguire put wide um, straight away after conceding. But after that, the game fell a, a bit flat between sort of the 55th and sort of 75th minute. Um, but then some fast bit of play from Carlisle. Jack Robinson got into the box. Uh, Robinson goes down, clear penalty, referee gives the penalty, Jordan Gibson steps up and scores it, that clip will be in this video, um, but yeah, great finish from Gibson to make it 1-1, and then sort of quick celebration, then straight away, straight back into the game, come on, there's 10 minutes to go, um, Dan Butterworth had a good, good opportunity, um, but he was just leaning back a bit too much, put the ball over the bar, and then in the 94th minute, we got a corner, uh, one of them brilliant uh, deliveries that we've been having these last few weeks, weeks and uh, it, it, the lad who was sat next to me said uh, a Ryan Edmondson loop and header would do and I said a loop and header from anyone would do right now and then up steps the big Geordie it is John Mellish heads the ball into the back of the net Carlisle United 2-1 up in the 94th minute um, the place was buzzing after that, a really good atmosphere towards the end of the game at Brunton Park. And then um, they had a free kick, uh, the Bells goal again in this video, but they had a free kick 
um, last sort of like 95th minute maybe and they put it over the bar and then Carlisle held out for the win and the 2-1 win a massive three points uh, with teams around us dropping points Reading gained points but they gained points over a relegation rival in Exeter uh, Fleetwood dropped points and Cheltenham dropped points as well so Carlisle moved up to 22nd we're off the bottom of the league and with three points from safety um, it paints a massive difference to what it did coming into the new year Um but we're starting off the new year with an absolutely fantastic performance, a great victory um, from the lads, thoroughly deserved as well, I must say, absolutely deserved. Paul Vail weren't um, able to handle us in that sort of first 45 minutes in the last 15 minutes of the game, and we came away with the three points that we deserved. Next game then is Exeter, a long, long away trip down there. Um, so safe travels to any of you making that trip down there, of course. Fingers crossed we can get another three points. It's a massive game against the relegation rival. So fingers crossed we can put a performance in like we did today in the first half, especially. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I've been CU04. I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the clips. And I'll see you back for a normal routine <laughs> coming into the match day thing. And we are starting the new year with one video every day this week. This, of course, is Monday the 1st video. But stay tuned for the rest of the week because there will be videos coming up thick and fast every single day this week. And a very, very special video, hopefully coming mid-January. I'm just waiting on confirmation, but you won't want to miss that. Keep your eyes peeled on the socials at CU or for YouTube. But yeah, I'll let you get into the clips now. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you in the next one.